Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is the restart game node? Let's run through our quick little example. Basically, I have an actor with a variable on it. When I click add to actor, we're adding one to that variable. And when I hit restart game, it basically restarts the entire game. And it's going to reset our variable back to default, of course. So what exactly is happening here? So our restart game node is pretty simple. It's part of the game mode. If we drag off of game mode and do restart, we'll find the restart game node itself. Keep in mind, if you just try to restart game and sensitivity is turned on, you're not going to find it. So the easiest way of demonstrating this is to go into our editor itself and hit play and look down the list on the side. Here's everything we have running. When we hit restart game, well, you notice for the most part, nothing's really going to change here. Let's go ahead and start that again and hit play. We'll go ahead and hit start. And you'll notice one thing is changing, which I always have a pain in the butt time finding. Okay, it's one of the bottom ones. Yeah, here we go. Player start playing editor. If we hit rate restart game, the player start playing editor is gone because we are technically reopening the level and we're not playing in editor. You can ignore that for this example. We have our character in the middle of the screen. We have our game actor here, and then we have our variable we're adding to this specific game actor. When we hit restart game, you'll notice all these numbers change because we are technically just reopening the map. All the restart game node does is basically take the existing map you're loaded and open it back up. So it's a quick little restart of the game. Now one thing to keep in mind is, Unlike reset level, this is a completely destructive operation. When I click this button, we're going to go ahead and add in a bunch of different actors. When I hit restart game, you'll notice all the other actors disappeared and just our original one comes back. Now the original one I spawn in when we create this map, so that's why we're getting that one back. I'm creating it. And you'll notice again our variables are gone when we restart. Now you will notice it says we restarted at the top left when I restart. That's something to keep in mind. Even though the restart game is called here and I'm printing we restart after that, the restart game, the open level, is not called immediately. It is delayed, usually by a few frames. I'll show you that here. Rather than calling we restarted immediately, I'm going to delay one second and then call it. This time when we run it and restart game, you'll notice we get no message. The delay itself kicks in and the open level takes less than one second. So it goes ahead and print string is never finished because this entire function stops in the middle of running. So that's something to keep in mind. Now I do have some on reset events hooked up. These are events that are called when you reset a level. If you'll notice when I play, they are not printed out. That's because they are never called. We're not simply resetting things from scratch. We're restarting the entire level. It's basically the equivalent of doing something like open level and then get current level name, finding out what the current level name is, popping it into open level and etc. It's basically taking current level name, open level and converting it into just restart game but it's much more convenient. That is going to wrap up our restart game node. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.